How's it going everyone? Chris here and welcome back to another Super Smash Bros Ultimate DLC leak discussion video. In today's video, we are actually going to be taking a look at a leak that claims to know every single character that is going to appear on the Fighter's Pass and it actually comes with some picture proof. However, as always and I cannot stress this enough, we have no idea if this leak is true or not so make sure you guys take it with a grain of salt and realize that I'm talking about this just for fun. If you'd like to read while I talk, you find a link to the original post in the description bar down below. And now, with all of that out of the way, I have to tell you guys where this leak came from. So guys, this leak was sent in to me by one of my subscribers on my Discord server, so if you guys haven't already joined up, I highly recommend you do so. You can find a link to my Discord in both the description as well as the pinned comment, and if you guys ever want to talk to me directly, send me a leak or anything like that, there is the best place to do so. And now guys, with all of that out of the way, this leak comes from 4chan and it is a picture leak of the Fighter Pass screen with all of the characters on it. So guys, with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at this brand new leak. So guys, like I said, this leak comes from 4chan and it does not have a title and it is posted by an anonymous user. It starts by saying Smash Ultimate DLC and along with it, it includes a picture. So as you guys can see on screen right now, we have a picture of what the supposed Fighter's Pass is going to be once it is all completely revealed. So the first character that we can see on that list is Joker and he comes with the Memento stage. Now obviously Joker has already been announced, so let's go ahead and move on to the next character which is Chrono. I don't know how to read German, so guys I'm not exactly sure what stage it is, so we're just going to go ahead and move on to the third character. The third character is Cuphead and apparently he is going to come with a casino stage. After Cuphead, we have the Marine from the Doom franchise, and he also, once again, is going to bring a stage along with him. I don't understand German once again, so forgive me that I don't know what these stages are called. And finally, we have Jabanyan with a Yokai Watch stage. So guys, let's go ahead and talk about each character individually, and then at the end, I'm going to tell you guys whether I believe this is real or not. So first of all guys, let's go ahead and talk about Chrono from the Chrono Trigger franchise. Now, right away, Chrono is a character that I definitely do think has a chance of making it into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. However, if you guys have been watching my Super Smash Bros. Ultimate leak discussions and rumor discussions for a while now, then you guys know that along with a lot of other people, I believe that Airdrick is coming. I mean, Airdrick has a ton of evidence supporting him. There was a codename data mined in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which is Brave, and Brave is actually the name of Airdrick over in Japan. We are getting a couple of new Dragon Quest games releasing on the Switch, including Dragon Quest Builder, as well as the Dragon Quest Definitive Edition, and also we have the supervisor of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate actually post a picture on Instagram, which said that uh, there was a picture of Airdrick Shield alongside Kirby, and it said the Brave Shield, and considering we found the nickname Brave in the code of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, people are just speculating that Airdrick is the next character coming to Smash. However, Chrono definitely does have a chance. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that Chrono Trigger is very popular over in Japan, similar to Dragon Quest. Personally, I have a couple friends over here in the States that enjoy the Chrono Trigger games, and if they did end up bringing Chrono to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, personally, I'd be okay with it. Now, one of the things that Super Smash Bros. the franchise as a whole is known for is bringing characters that aren't as well known uh, to the game and then popularizing their games in different areas of the world. For example, we had characters uh, that weren't uh, very well known at first, such as Marth and Roy from the Fire Emblem series, and then once people played as Marth and Roy in Super Smash Bros. Melee, they were like, wow, I want to learn more about the Fire Emblem franchise, and that's how Fire Emblem became so big over here in the United States, so it would make sense if they were using this to promote another game in the States as well. However guys, once again, as of now, I still do believe that Airdrick is coming to Smash. We are just going to have to wait and see for the official announcement. Next up, let's go ahead and talk about Cuphead and why I think that this guy actually has a chance. So first of all, for those of you guys who don't know, Cuphead is owned by Microsoft. Technically, they're owned by the creators, but they are a part of the Microsoft franchise, meaning that Cuphead would be the Microsoft representative. Now, as you guys are already aware, Xbox Live is coming to the Nintendo Switch, along with possibly the Xbox Game Pass, showing that Nintendo and Microsoft are on very good terms right now. Now, I know that a lot of people think that if we are getting a Microsoft character, we're either going to get Banjo-Kazooie, or Steve, or maybe even Master Chief, but I think that Cuphead actually has a chance. 
Cuphead is currently a very popular indie game, and because of that, I think that gives them a leg up on the competition. Now, I know that what you guys are saying, there's no way an indie character is ever coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but you guys gotta look at it like this. We have a ton of indie character spirits like Shantae, and we even have an assist trophy who's an indie character being Shovel Knight. Now, back in Super Smash Bros. Melee, I would have been like, yeah, there's no way we're ever going to get an indie character in Super Smash Bros. They would never taint it like that, but we have to look at it. Super Smash Bros. is changing, guys. We have characters like Cloud and Snake and Bayonetta, so why couldn't we get an indie character like Cuphead? Now, once again, I'm sure that there are a lot of you guys out there saying there is no way we're ever going to get a character from Cuphead. That makes absolutely no sense. Cuphead isn't very popular, but Cuphead is a very popular indie game, and I do think that, once again, the Cuphead character has a chance. You guys have to remember that Sakurai is not choosing the characters, but Nintendo is. So could you guys imagine this? Cuphead ends up coming to the Nintendo Switch, and as a way to promote Cuphead, they also reveal a Cuphead character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, once again, I'm not saying this is super likely, but there are no rules when it comes to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate characters, so give this little guy a chance. He definitely has the potential for a very unique moveset, and if he does end up coming to Smash Ultimate, I'd definitely be okay with it. Next up, let's go ahead and talk about the Marine from the Doom franchise. Now, right away, I'm sure that there are a lot of you guys out there saying, there's no way we're ever going to get a Doom character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. That game is rated M, and they never want to bring M-rated characters to Smash. But guys, first of all, we already have Snake and Bayonetta, but that's a topic for another day. Now, in terms of Doom's chances of making it in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I have to say that it's definitely a very good one. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, Doom was actually the game that popularized the first-person shooter genre. Now, games like Halo and Call of Duty and all those other games that you guys love like that were based off of the Doom franchise. Well, they weren't based off of it. They're obviously very different, but it did popularize first-person shooters, so that's a big reason we have those games. The Doom guy is extremely iconic, and we even have Doom Eternal coming to the Nintendo Switch, so it would make sense if they wanted to add a Doom character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Not only that, guys, but there was a leak a while ago on 5 Channel, which correctly predicted Joker as a playable character, as well as Persona 5R and Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, which said the Doom guy would be coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So guys, although a lot of you guys might not like that the Doom guy is coming to Smash Ultimate, at this point, I'd say he's basically inevitable. It seems like he is going to come, and I know that Doom is extremely graphic and stuff like that, but they were able to tone down Bayonetta, and they were able to tone down Solid Snake, so why wouldn't they be able to tone down the Doom guy as well? Next up, let's go ahead and talk about Jibanyan from the Yokai Watch series. Now, I know that a lot of people don't think that Yokai Watch deserves a place in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but personally, I do. Now, Yokai Watch is not on the same level as Pokemon in any means, but it is still a fairly decent franchise with a pretty big fan base, honestly. Now, I've never played a Yokai Watch game before, but I do have a lot of friends that really do enjoy it, so why not bring a character like Jibanyan into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Now, once again, I'm not saying that Yokai Watch is on the same level as Pokemon, and they might not end up getting 8 reps like Pokemon has, but I do think they deserve at least one. Yokai Watch is a franchise that is owned by Nintendo, that Nintendo continues to support. We have one more Yokai Watch game coming to the 3DS, so I do think that the, a Yokai Watch rep definitely has a very good chance of making it in. I think Jibanyan would have a, the potential for a very good moveset, and if we did end up getting him, I'd be pretty happy with him, just because he's a little cat with fire tails, and I just think that's super sweet. So, if these are the characters we end up getting, I'd be pretty happy with them. However, guys, before I go ahead and tell you guys whether or not I believe this league is real or not, I do need to tell you guys one thing, because I'd like to be completely transparent and open with you guys. So, as I'm sure you guys are all aware right now, YouTube is currently going through another adpocalypse. Now, for those of you guys who don't know what that is, basically, a bunch of the advertisers are pulling their ads from YouTube because they just don't want to keep them on there anymore. There's a lot of controversy with YouTube going on right now, and a lot of content creators are suffering. Not only that, guys, but YouTube has started to demonetize a lot of different videos and completely demonetize some channels, and I am starting to get worried that I might get hit with that eventually. So guys, if you could do me a huge favor and check out the Patreon in both the description as well as the pinned comment, I would really appreciate that. 
you guys can just throw me a couple dollars a month if you would like to. You don't have to by any means. Just watching the video is more than I can ever ask for. But if you guys want to help me out and give me a little bit more security, I would greatly appreciate that. So guys, overall, do I believe that this league is real? Well guys, ever since the Grinch leak, I really don't like to trust leaks like this. And honestly, I don't think that I am going to trust this one. I'm sure that anyone who can use Photoshop could have made something like this. So as of now, I don't want to say that this is real, but I do think that all of the characters on this list has a very good chance of making it into Smash Ultimate. However guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. Do you guys believe that this league is real and would you be happy if it was? Why or why not? Thank you guys all so much for watching, make sure to subscribe, share, and like, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.